Hi, it's uh, Mike Putman from the Medical College of Wisconsin, reporting live from ACR 2022 for uh, Room Now. Uh, I wanted to share a very interesting and exciting thing that we saw at the plenary session today, which is a phase two randomized controlled trial in Sjogren's syndrome. We haven't seen quite enough of those, and it's always exciting when you have an opportunity to talk about one. So this study talked about remibrutinib, which is a BTK inhibitor. It looked at uh, SDI scores at 24 weeks, and it showed a significant benefit, which is very exciting. A positive trial in Sjogren's is very welcome. <clears throat> the problem is that it looks like it did that mostly by affecting things like laboratory abnormalities and maybe a very small benefit to salivary flow. Another outcome measure in the trial was the ESPRI index. This looks at joint pain, fatigue, and dryness, the things that really matter to patients. And unfortunately, there was no significant benefit for that outcome measure. I think this is a classic example of what happens in trials where we see a benefit that looks exciting with some esoteric composite outcome measure that none of us can fully apply in clinical practice. But if you ask the question, is this really going to improve a patient's quality of life? Is it going to make them feel more energy, more or less dryness, less joint pain? The answer to this drug appears to be probably no. We need more information, hoping for a phase three and more, uh, uh, more data to come. But in the, in the until then, unfortunately, I'm a little less optimistic than I'd hoped to be. Thanks so much. Uh, be sure to follow Room Now for all of our great content at the meeting this year. <laughs>